Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a cleaning marathon video and I'm basically taking several videos, compiling them all together so that you have over an hour and a half of cleaning. And if you feel like you need a lot to get done, then just pop this video up on your screen and clean along with me. Now the first video that's playing is back when I was pregnant. I don't know how many weeks I was, but it was during the summertime, so probably around like the five month range, maybe four or five months. Um, so if my stomach looks a bit bigger in this video, that's because my son was in my stomach. So <laughs> just wanted to give you guys that information, but the other videos are me not pregnant. And anyways, I hope you enjoy the motivation. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm excited, today's video is going to have a ton of cleaning motivation. So I am starting off in my kitchen and you just saw how dirty the stove top was. I accidentally had some water that boiled over when I was cooking some brown rice and it burned the top of my stove. Um, so I was showing you guys how I am just simply using a couple different products and I am using the scrub mommy I have been using this almost on a daily basis and I love the pink side it's like rough but not too rough and I use hot hot water or you can use cold water and it'll make that pink side harder so I'm using baking soda and I'm using uh, Mrs. Meyers dish soap the peony scent which is my favorite and I'm just also going to first put some water on top then I'm going to put just a little bit of baking soda in that area and then I'm going to drizzle some dish soap on top and it is amazing it makes that burnt part go away and it's just two simple ingredients dish soap baking soda well and a tiny bit of water I'm avoiding the area where I put the baking soda and the dish soap over that burnt part. I wanted to let it sit there. And that's a little tip that I have for you all anytime that you are cleaning. Every time I'm using a product, I like it to sit for a little while because I feel like it's not doing its job if I just clean something up right away and wipe it down. I want it to sit there, really soak it all in and absorb whatever I'm trying to clean. I'm sure that you could also use other products to get any burnt part off of the stovetop as well. This is just something that I was giving a try. I never looked up to see if it actually would. I just was um, giving it a shot and it actually worked really well. I'm sure that, because I have one video, it, definitely go check it out. It's using baking soda and vinegar to clean your house instead of buying a bunch of products. Um, I'm sure all of you have like white distilled vinegar and baking soda in your house so you could just simply use those products. So I have a video all about that which I really really enjoyed making. Um, but I'm curious if you could just use the white distilled vinegar here with the dish soap or not even dish soap. I just like the dish soap because it smells so good. <laughs> but you could probably just use baking soda and the white distilled vinegar to clean your stovetop. I have seen so many YouTube videos where people are using those two products inside their oven which I am going to do in an upcoming video because my oven, I think I've only cleaned it like one time and we've lived here for seven months now. 
actually today makes seven months that I'm editing this video. So uh, I think that you could definitely use that on the stove top as well because you could definitely use it in the oven. So I was just scrubbing everything down, cleaning all of the countertops. I will say that I was slightly disappointed only because I did not really think about the residue that the baking powder was going to use or was going to have so it left like a lot of it almost looked like white dust on the countertops because I've never tried it before like I just said so I was I had to spray down the countertop afterwards only because there was a little bit of residue of the powder which makes sense um, I think the vinegar whenever you mix it with vinegar it makes that powder go away where when you use the dish soap the dish soap is a little bit more sticky of a consistency so it it leaves that powder residue so my advice would be well number one just be aware of that because I did have to spray on top with just a multi-surface spray nothing it didn't it took me like five seconds um, but I just wanted to let you guys know that because if you try it and you're like what the heck why is there white residue it's just the baking soda powder I also wanted to show you guys I cut my finger so be very careful when you're cleaning the top of the oven I cut my finger and it actually was burning and it started bleeding. I was showing you guys right here. So be careful anytime that you are wiping down your stove top. Back there, it was sharp. Um, so I had to go get a Band-Aid and clean with my left hand for the rest of the day. my good old pure sense stainless steel cleaner i am so obsessed with this spray you guys hear me talk about it in almost every video i get it from grove collaborative and it just makes everything so so shiny it's a thicker um like content that's in there and i don't really know what kind of solution it is but it's thicker and it does such an amazing job and i like using it on the stove top it's almost greasy is a term that I would use for it and I think it just makes everything look so nice so I use this on my stove top I use it on the stainless steel around the stove I use it on my microwave I like on the outside and on my refrigerator and on my dishwasher so I highly recommend this product I've had it for a while now and I use it probably once per week maybe two times per week when I'm wiping down those um, appliances and it lasts a really long time so and they're not expensive those products at all so I definitely recommend it and now I'm just putting my little um, Joanna Gaines Magnolia home book and my candle and my little lantern back in the corner I always have that there for a little bit of decor I like the way it looks I'm thinking during Christmas time I will probably turn that into like something more Christmassy <laughs> but for now I'm just keeping it kind of simple and plain um, and kind of give it that modern farmhouse look which my house mostly is farmhouse decor mod more modern but with a twist of the farmhouse and here I'm just giving you guys an overview of what the kitchen or the stovetop was looking like it was so clean that burnt part was gone and I was so happy and now we are going over to cleaning down the granite countertop now I will say I probably will not be, I will probably do this once in a while with the baking soda, but I will most likely use vinegar next time with the dish soap because like I told you guys before, I was disappointed with the powder residue that it has left and it's been like a day since I did this and the powder residue is kind of still there. I did use my um, Mrs. Meyers multi-surface spray to clean that off which seems to work um, but the powder just left a lot of residue I think if you mix vinegar 
that residue will definitely go away but since I didn't do vinegar it's still kind of there so I just wanted to give you guys the heads up it does a great job deep cleaning it just leaves a little bit of that powdery residue which I'm not personally a fan of so just want you guys to keep that in mind is going to be creating with like home-based products like basically products you can find in your house um, like some type of concoction to get a granite countertop cleaner there's like so many I've seen on Pinterest that you can make at home so I'm going to do that I know that I can just buy it which I probably will buy it a separate product but I thought it'd be kind of fun to make my own like home remedy I've been really enjoying looking up different home remedies like that like for example when I created my baking soda and vinegar I never thought of putting that into the laundry, like your towels to make them fresh. So it's been fun looking at different ideas. I definitely recommend that. If you guys can think of some places in your home that you want to keep clean, look up different home like remedies, things that you can make on your own, and it probably will save you a lot of money as well. in my bones I could feel it in my face Hands in the sky I can feel the winds of change You live in your life I am working on cleaning out the refrigerator. It wasn't too dirty. Um, I had cleaned it a couple weeks prior, but there was just some crumbs and um, I just needed to give it a good wipe down. So I just used my Method Glass Cleaner. And by the way, if you guys are ever interested in using Grove Collaborative, I do have a partnership with them. And I have a link in my description box. If you click that link, you actually get a free set. So for example, one time I got a free set of Mrs. Meyer's dish soap and the hand soap and a little uh, basket to carry all of my cleaning products in. So definitely check that out. It's you just have to have I 
think, I want to say it's like a minimum of 20 bucks or 30 bucks for your order and then you get a free set. So I highly recommend that. Um, I think that their products are awesome. They have so many different products to offer and you guys know I use them all the time in every single video. So here I'm using the Method Glass Cleaner which you can buy on Grove Collaborative which I did buy on Grove Collaborative myself and I'm just wiping down the glass so I just removed everything out of this area of the fridge. I didn't want to take every single item out of the fridge. Um, so I just started with this section. But typically I would take every single thing out. I don't know why. I just didn't feel like doing it at this time. So just giving the fridge a good wipe down. And I really, sometimes I do use the e-cloths and other times I'll just use a paper towel. At this time, I just used a paper towel to wipe down the glass. And I hope I've seen enough To make something right Make up for what I've lost I was down but things are lost Surprised by you Want you to make my heart feel As much as I know it should I wanna get high on you Caught by surprise by you Want you to make my heart feel As much as I know that you can do instead of just wiping these down I've actually seen people remove them completely from the refrigerators and put them in a bathtub and you don't even have to wipe them down you don't have to use a cloth nothing you literally put all of your like drawers or um, any of the shelving into the bathtub with like hot soapy water and let it sit there for maybe like an hour or so and that soap and hot water will get all of you know whatever crumbs or anything that's sticky on there unless it's really 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 sticky then maybe you need to wipe it down but I did see that solution and I'm going to give that a try one day I did not do that in this video but I wanted to just share that with you guys because it might be a way that if you don't have time to spend to wipe down all of these pieces like all the shelving and drawers and maybe your refrigerator is like way bigger than mine you might just simply not have the time to do that so that's why I would recommend just using this bathtub method and it doesn't make the bathtub dirty or anything like that it might just be really simple for you so you don't have to take the time to actually wipe them down Settle in the world like everything is
about you all, but we rarely ever use our freezer. We have like some chicken in here sometimes, some um, like chicken wings and um, frozen vegetables, but we rarely ever use the freezer. So I rarely clean this. This is the first time I have cleaned the freezer in a very, very long time. Um, so I was just wiping down the drawers, doing basically the exact same thing that I did with the refrigerator. And again, using my scrub mommy just to get that, um, you know, like whatever little pieces are in there. Um, so the scrub mommy, like I said before, it's really awesome to do deep cleaning. The pink side is very rough. If you use cold water, it will keep that pink side pretty rough. So you can get um, just that those like scum and like any deep cleaning done. And then the yellow side is more so a sponge. So you can use this to clean your dishes instead of doing like deep cleaning. But I have one just for deep cleaning. I could get another one to do for like just the dishes, but I just use a regular sponge for the dishes. So now I'm just scrubbing down my sink. And again, using the scrub mommy, as you can see here, you literally can use this anywhere. I use it in my bathrooms, on my countertops, in the sink. Um, now, when I say bathrooms, I am not scrubbing the toilets with this. Of course you can, but I wouldn't recommend then using it on your countertops. So I keep that very separate. Every time I clean in the bathroom, it's either with a specific e-cloth that's only for the bathroom or paper towels that I can throw away. So it just simply depends on what I have available, but I never use the sponge to do both, if that makes sense. So I was just giving this a good scrub down. I think this turned out so nice and clean and sparkly looking. I love when my sink is nice and clean, like it is here. Um, let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys use? What is your favorite cleaning product to use? Like tool wise, not, not sprays, not detergents, not um, soap brands, but what actual tool? My favorite is definitely the Scrub Mommy. Um, it's a new favorite of mine. So let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys enjoy the most when you're cleaning? Our sliding glass door is to go outside gets so dirty so fast I feel like I could just clean it every day and it would always have dirt in it I think it's because we go in and out 
of that door very often. We love to eat outside and our dog goes in and out of that door as well. So maybe that's why, but let me know down in the comment section below if that's something common that you guys deal with as well. I feel like I just could literally clean it all the time and it would still be dirty. So here I was just cleaning down the sliding glass door with my Method glass cleaner. I love this glass cleaner so much. It's the blue kind. It smells like melons to me. That melon scent, oh, it's just so refreshing. I love it. So I'm just wiping everything down. And then I was continuing to clean out the track on the other side of the door. that I'm doing is putting the towels into the wash and I did have a couple comments on a previous video about why I put those little um, lids in the washing machine so I actually saw this on another youtubers channel um, Amy Darley who I love watching and it has worked out so well so you know how when you put the detergent in this little container and you pour it out and then there's still like leftover in there all you guys have to do is leave the container in there and if you accidentally throw it in the dryer it's not a big deal nothing happens so i do this every single time that i do laundry i literally just leave those little containers in there or the lids in there and it works out perfectly <music> Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you did enjoy it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. Say hi in the comment section down below and give this video a big thumbs up. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. I'm super excited. Today's video is a cleaning motivation video as always and I am using my new vacuum. I love it so much. I've shared this vacuum with you guys before. It works really, really well on my um, flooring. I We do have luxury vinyl planking, so it's not real hardwood. Um, we have real hardwood on our stairs, but not throughout the house. Um, and it works really well on both the hardwood stairs and the LVP throughout the house. So I would recommend this vacuum uh, for hard floors, not 
uh, not particularly for carpet. So I did notice that my Dyson is a lot stronger on the carpet, but I like this vacuum way better for my flooring throughout my house. Um, so we just have rugs in like our family room, in my office, and in our master bedroom. So I will just use my Dyson whenever I need to vacuum the rugs. Um, so, I mean, you can definitely still use this vacuum, don't get me wrong, but I just think the Dyson is stronger on the uh, rug or if you had carpet. So I'll have this vacuum linked down below if you guys are interested, um, but I really do recommend it. And I love the light feature. Um, I know a lot of vacuums have that light feature, but I've never had a vacuum with that. And it's so awesome because I can actually see the hair and dust and dirt in front of the vacuum and when I'm done vacuuming it I can see that it's gone so it's really nice to be able to actually physically see the dust and not just see it in the vacuum cleaner you can see it gone on the floor um, so I really love that and I did want to mention that my my four month old son is right next to me and he's playing um, so if you hear some noises that's him but anyways let's get back into the video I'm so excited that you guys are here with me today and I hope you get a ton of cleaning motivation Okay, a lot of you have been asking about food recommendations, so I'm just going to share with you what I'm making right now. So this is lean ground turkey, 93% lean, and I have mushrooms in here, and I have turmeric and cayenne pepper, garlic, and cumin, and then um, I'm just like, I'll sporadically just keep going like this to kind of mash it up into small pieces. Um, and then I also like to put onions in here. Um, so I might do that later. But yeah, so this is uh, the lean ground turkey. Um, I always mix mushrooms in and then sometimes I'll put these green peppers in. Um, but the garlic tastes so good with turmeric and cumin and cayenne pepper as well.
I am just cleaning the stovetop. I don't know about you all, but I need to have a clean stovetop. And a lot of times when my husband and I are making something on the stove, we always make a mess. Like it never looks clean. So what I use is a mix of different things. I've, I feel like I haven't found the perfect perfect solution but i do highly recommend um the product that i was just using it's from walmart and it is a cook the uh, cook stove top cleaner and it does a really good job um, and it is a very inexpensive option however i i always feel like there could be a better product out there so you guys will have to let me know what you think i know i have heard a lot of people using just like hot water and dawn dish soap um to do the trick but you guys will have to let me know what you use to clean your stovetop i do recommend this product and is really cheap um, and i think it does a good job but i always feel like there could be maybe a better product out there for the stovetop so you guys will have to let me know and then I was cleaning the sink. Um, I just use dish soap and my um, scrub mommy brush to clean the sink. And then we are heading over and cleaning the kitchen. So first I vacuum the floor and I love this vacuum. It is really good on my the LVP flooring and then I um, will steam mop and I love this steam mop. It is super powerful and it does a really good job and it makes the floors feel so good afterwards. It's not like soaked in water. That's why I really love the steam mop. So anyways, we are gonna get back to cleaning. So I hope you guys enjoy this cleaning motivation. I know I messed up. Yeah, I know I did you wrong. But I learned my lesson Now what if we could move on? Remember the good days I wish that we could go back I know I'm not perfect But at least give me a try I'm sorry to mention to you guys that if you're ever interested in any of the decor that I have in my house or products that I'm using I do like to link those in the description box so that you know if you guys have any questions I know when I'm watching some people's videos I'm like oh my gosh I really need that or I'm really interested in it and you know if they have a ton of subscribers commenting sometimes you can't they, they don't respond or something like that so I always like to just link anything in the description box i love when i go to someone else's channel and they have everything linked it's just really easy if i want to purchase it so i will have that link down below most things in my house are from wayfair and amazon um those are like i feel like the two places that i always decor shop or target so um, if you are ever interested in anything that i use check the description box first and if not just comment and I will try my very best to comment right back to you. we are 10 minutes into the video but I would like to introduce myself for those of you that are new welcome to the channel I'm so happy you're here and if you are new please 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 comment below and say hello I love to comment back and have a conversation in the comment section and it's so much fun for me to see like where you guys are from how my videos are helping you and um, just introduce yourself so that I can say hello and welcome you to the channel so my name is Jessica for those of you that don't know and I have a video I obviously have a cleaning channel with tons of videos with cleaning motivation and I wanted to mention that I actually started on YouTube doing fitness um, I am actually 
I used to compete um, in bodybuilding and in the bikini division and I trained myself, coached myself, and I got second place um, each time I competed. Never got first, but um, that's okay. And I had so much fun doing it and I really fell in love with the process of um, just working out, bodybuilding. Um, it, it taught me a lot and I gained a lot of confidence with that and I just found a passion with nutrition and fitness. And then, so I started documenting that on YouTube. I have since deleted a lot of those videos, um, but then I discovered Poshmark and reselling. So I started doing reselling videos and then I we um, built our own home in 2020 and then I was decided I was obsessed with cleaning motivation videos like I would watch them nonstop. I'd watch decorating videos all of that so I fell in love with that and I started I was like well if I'm loving it so much why don't I try it myself so now I have finally found where I want my channel to go and I'm sure if you're watching this then you enjoy watching cleaning motivation videos. So this is the direction of my channel and I absolutely love it. I'm so happy that you guys are here and come back every single week. I have a video that goes live every Monday at, at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and it's just so much fun to chat with you guys and I love providing motivation because I know I need it on a daily basis to get those things done that we just need to get done. So it means a lot to me that you guys are here and a little bit more about me. I am a new mom. Uh, my son is four and a half months old now and this is my first baby and he's just hey. laying right here looking at me smiling and he is our whole world his name is nolan and i am married to my husband john this summer actually in a couple weeks it'll be our five year anniversary so yeah just i'm happy to be here i'm happy to have this youtube channel and happy to have this community and i would love for you to come back and watch more videos and subscribe it really means so much to me that you guys take out the time just to watch these videos it really means a lot i do this for fun i do this as a hobby i do work full time so i am a mortgage loan officer so right now i am juggling working full time being a new mom and this youtube channel is like my creative outlet i have so much fun doing it and i just do it for fun so thank you guys so much for being here i appreciate all of you So 
I have all of Nolan's clothes on hangers, but he is napping right now and I don't want to go in his room because um, he really needs this nap. <laughs> so I don't want to wake him up. Um, so I just have them all on hangers. So as soon as he wakes up, I can just go in and put these where they need to go. And then I just had some extra hangers. Um, and then these are also his. And I am going to then put those away when he wakes up and then i'll put these in our master bathroom closet i do need to get new towels so if you guys have any recommendations for nice inexpensive towels please let me know for being here i really hope that you enjoyed today's video i hope that you got some cleaning motivation from it if you're new i would love for you to come back be sure to subscribe my videos go live like i said every monday at 5 p.m edst and you will find cleaning motivation you will find new decor like decorate with me videos um makeovers any type of deep cleaning speed cleaning all type of all types of cleaning so I hope you come back for more and be sure to say hello so I can say hello back in the comment section down below and I will see you all in the next one bye Just one glass in, you're already on my mind When it gets late, I always realize that I need you Are you thinking about me too tonight? It's no secret Hi friends, welcome back to my channel I know I have been a little MIA Life has been crazy, so today we are going to go through a just cleaning, getting things done. I have a lot of laundry to do. This is only the one basket. I have like three loads of laundry. Um, life has been really crazy for us. That's why I have been MIA for a couple weeks, but I am back. We're gonna have a great motivational cleaning video for you all today, so I hope that you enjoy. As I said in the beginning of today's video, life has been just super crazy for us, really busy. As you guys know, my husband and I both work full time and we have a baby boy as well. He is a little over six and a half months old now and he is doing so well and it's so much fun to watch him like hit all these fun milestones and he's crawling, sitting up on his own, trying to talk, eating solid foods now. So a lot of exciting things going on and it's just a really crazy busy 
time in our life and that's why I have been a little bit MIA on YouTube. I just have so many different priorities in my life and unfortunately YouTube kind of got pushed back and it is definitely my favorite hobby and I enjoy doing it so much so I it is one of my top priorities but it just kind of got pushed aside as other things kind of got in the way but I appreciate you all so much for being here. I love this community so much. So I really appreciate you guys just sticking out and um, being here for me when I c came back, you know, in today's video. So I appreciate you all for being here. But yeah, this summer has just been pretty busy almost every single weekend. We have something going on, um, just seeing a lot of our family. And it's been a lot of fun going to the beach, hanging out by the pool, and just trying to get Nolan out and doing things and um, just spending as much quality time as a family on the weekends as possible. It's been really nice. So we're definitely enjoying the summer and I hope you guys are too. As you guys know, we got our laundry room all done. So I'm just putting our sheets in here. And oh my gosh, I just love looking at the laundry room in here. Oh, it's so beautiful. So I'm just gonna use um, this OxyClean. And then I am also just going to use our Gain laundry detergent. Who is a total mess. It just kind of got out of hand and things were just all over the place. So um, I decided to completely organize the entire closet, take out everything. We call these our cubes. Um, eventually one day we will redo this closet but for right now it works really well for us so these are just from ikea i highly recommend them we've been using them for like a year and a half now and i didn't think we'd have them for this long but they actually work really well so anyways i took all of them everything that was in there out and completely redid the whole thing and it always it feels better getting everything out and starting fresh uh, versus going like cube by cube so I highly recommend anytime you're organizing a space to just get everything out whether it's a closet if it's under your bed if it's what wherever just take everything out and then go back little by little putting things away to organize I feel like it's less overwhelming because you actually can see progress a lot faster that way
took a little break and I went downstairs to actually make myself some breakfast. So I was like, okay, while I'm down here, I might as well just do my cleaning downstairs. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I'm like very chaotic when I'm doing my cleaning. But um, so I was just cleaning the sink, putting the dishes away. I ended up um, tr uh, cleaning out this little tread um, in our, you know, for like the sliding glass door using a new tool that I was super excited about. So I was just doing some tidying up, some cleaning downstairs, um, and then I went back up and completely finished the closet. So I love cleaning the sink with um, just like our soap, soap um, for the dishes and it smells really good. I think it does a nice job of just cleaning down the stainless steel. Um, and then I just use my faucet to kind of just rinse it all out and it always looks so good and that smell just smells amazing. This is so disgusting and it I don't know why it just builds up with dirt and it's like black and it is disgusting. I know why it fills up with dirt because we're going in and outside of the house and we have a dog so it obviously gets dirty but it is just so disgusting. So I decided to put um, baking soda and actually I didn't have white distilled vinegar so I just used apple cider vinegar. It pretty much does the same thing in my opinion it just it works really well um, and it, it gets a lot of whatever that like gunk is that's in there um, it does a really great job of like breaking it down when you pour the apple cider vinegar on there so I just did that let it sit for a little bit and then I did um, just get a paper towel and wipe that down so you can kind of get whatever residue is left and clean it out. And then I did use this new um, spin scrubber that I got from a company called Aremo and they're actually on Amazon. It's very affordable and this spinner is so awesome. It comes with so many different heads. Um, you can literally use this in a bathtub, on grout, tile, walls, floors, sinks. Um, I actually used it on my front door. I used it on our fence and then I used it right here. I wanted to share with you guys. I used it in this um, uh, little tread just to kind of break up everything that I was about to clean and it works so well. It has um, a low speed and then it has a high speed um, so there's like a 380 for the low speed, 430 for the high speed, and it works so well. All, there's like three, I think it's three different head types. Yeah, three different heads that it comes with. So you can use it on so many different surfaces. Um, like I said, you can use it in the bathtub, um, your shower, on the floor, toilets, you, litter it's kind of like you can pretty much use it anywhere um and then it also charges its working time is 60 to 90 minutes uh which i think is really awesome because then you don't have to constantly keep charging it so it has a dome brush which is ideal for like bathtubs or sinks it has a flat brush which is perfect for like floor and door which is what i'm doing right now is the flat brush 
um, that I'm using for the door and I'll probably use it for the windows too because I really need to clean my windows um, and then per, the flat brush is also really good for the floors and doors too which I did use on my front door um, and I used on my fence as well so I highly recommend it it works excellent and I was I was so happy to be able to just use a tool that I can um, get dirty and not worry about it and it it's like a very um, the bristles are very rough so just be cautious of that um, it won't leave any scratches but um, you know just keep in mind that they are pretty rough that's why I was totally fine with just using it in the tread um, for this door so anyways I was super happy with that and I'll have the link in my description box in case you all are interested and then next I am just using Windex and wiping down the glass door my dog has a ton of her like nose and paw prints so I um, I like to just wipe down our glass door and then lastly we are going up and finishing the closet which took me so long but it was totally worth it. something really exciting that my husband and I are doing now so we just started our own side hustle um, just for fun we've always always wanted to be entrepreneurs and start our own business and we've gone through so many ideas over the years and this one has really stuck with us so we have started an engraving company so here you can see we're selling on Etsy to start out um, we're doing ornaments we can engrave on pretty much anything glass wood canvases um, so we're doing like home decor doing ornaments for uh, you know upcoming holiday season Seasons. Um, and this is just an example we my brother just got engaged so we made them an ornament um, so my husband's doing like the physical side of actually making it and then I'm doing like the creative side and doing the marketing um, so I'm super excited and I thought you guys might be interested if you have an upcoming holiday or even a, a gift for your mom, your kids, your husband, your cousins, your aunts, your uncles. Like there's so many different things that we can engrave on and create. So it could even be like coasters um, in your family room or home decor to hang up on your wall or engraving on a necklace on a ring there's so many different things that we can engrave on and we invested in this 
um, you know, this equipment because we can actually see that this really is such a great potential for us um, to have our own side business. And like I said, we've been wanting to have a, like our own business since we started dating back in 2015. And nothing ever seemed like the, good, the best fit for us. Um, we tried several different things and this has definitely... I think will be the one. So super excited. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys because I figured you might be interested. Um, like I said, we are going to sell on Etsy, um, but feel free to contact me through email. Um, I do have my email address um, linked or it's written in the description box and I'll put it right here on the screen as well. Um, you can just send me an email if you're interested and um, you know we if you send us a picture of what you would like engraved we can make that. Um, if you have like a certain font that you want us to use you can send that to us. So there's so many different things that we can engrave um, and I think it would be a great gift for your loved ones. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. You say you don't want to get in trouble That you're doing fine cause you got me I don't want to break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see in your eyes Your head is full of dreams Tears are a proof of failure You just gotta let them flow without judge There's a many to be happy You can do whatever you like You don't have to be ready You just gotta trust the right You don't have to be scary You just gotta follow the light You're able to be happy You can do whatever you like You don't have to be ready Something else I wanted to share with you guys is something kind of exciting. I have been really getting into running. So I have a half marathon that I signed up for in December and I'm so excited. I have been training for it and I've been so proud of myself to see how far I could push myself. And I have, so I completed a exactly a five or a half marathon straight without stopping um i've run a couple different i've run two 10 miles straight one 13.1 miles straight two nine miles straight and two or three eight miles and then several i don't even know how many like five six seven eight miles um so I'm really proud of myself. I never thought that I could do that. I'm more into bodybuilding, um, like powerlifting type of um, exercising and working out and training. Um, but running has been so good for me and like my mental for my mental health, and has just given me a new goal, a new like different type of purpose for my you know, training. It has been so fun and challenging. And I've been using the um, Nike Club running app and it has like guided uh, runs where you can listen to a trainer. And I love being trained. I love people like, I don't know. I love like being pushed further um, th because I feel like when you're training yourself or running by yourself, you're making excuses the whole time on why you need to stop. And I really, really retrained my brain to just enjoy running and think about other things and not let myself talk myself out of doing things and just like really gaining a lot of mental strength. And I feel like that's what running is to me now. It's not even about anything physical. It's all about mental for me and just mentally enjoying the run and what it does for me like it brings me solitude it allows me to think about anything and it just brings me to this like state of mind where I'm at it's so much at so much peace I can't even explain it it's like so weird to explain out loud but if you guys have 
really been into running before, maybe you understand what I'm saying. I feel like your body is in, it's so fatigued that all I can think about is just, just like running. Like there's, you can't think about any stress. You can't think about anything else that's going on. It's just like, okay, how am I going to survive this run? <laughs> it's, I don't know how to even explain it, but I've loved running so much and it's just given me something to look forward to that I can do for myself and I get a lot of joy out of it. So that's something else that I wanted to share with you guys that's kind of new. I never have been a runner before and I really enjoyed um, just this different type of training that I'm not used to. I'm still, of course, I'm still lifting and, um, you know, doing bodybuilding type of training. Um, a lot throughout the week. I would I do about five days of lifting weights and then um, two days of cardio. So I do like really long runs, like 10, 11, 12 miles on the on Saturday or Sunday. And then on Wednesdays, I typically will do another run or do my um, like spin class. Okay, I am super proud with how everything is looking. So we got John's like work pants and belts up there. And then I folded all of his like work t-shirts, sweatpants, shorts, organized some of the bags down there. So that looks a lot better. And then over here, we have his like polos hung up, his uh, like gym tank tops, jackets, underwear, all of that. And then this needs to go in the basement. It's my pregnancy pillow. Um, and then our little like side bed that hooked up to our bed when Nolan was first born. Um, we obviously have him in his crib now, so that can go in the basement. And then over here, have all of my stuff. And then up there, that's for Goodwill. I just need to put our steamer back in the corner. And then this is very last. Everything in there is going to stay. I just need to refold it. So, yeah, we're pretty much done. I love how it is looking. Got the traffic on a fresh car, sushi on a platter, brandy, honey, it don't matter, shots. Till I drop, drop, gonna be 24 7, golden hour like a boss. And they say, yo, guess you got a two o'clock appointment for a champagne shop for you. Yeah. I'm busy trying to take you higher, got no time for never, only spending cheddar. Wish I could do this forever. Chilling with the hottest company, they all wanna welcome me to their private penthouse suite, yeah, now. Positivity to this party, don't want no drama with any bad karma Got a lot of that in love, beat low, I just wanna let it all go Yeah, I can't say no when I'm this free Don't wanna go home or I can't sleep Weather's so nice, only got good vibes Yeah, we here chillin', chillin' in paradise Sunny day, sunny day, sunny days No clouds in the sky, but I get away Feels like it's been a freaking decade Sorry, don't call me cause I'm gonna be on bread Sunny day, sunny day, make way All the stress and doubt
you all enjoyed today's cleaning motivation video. I hope that you were able to watch this, get some type of motivation, and maybe clean along with me or get anything checked off your to-do list that you've been needing to get done and just need a little boost of motivation. I am typically here every Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Like I said, life has been a little crazy this summer and I've been a little bit behind on my videos, but please be sure to subscribe if you're new. I would love for you to stick around and watch future videos of mine. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you were able to get any motivation and I will see you in next week's video. Bye! You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking Fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are Are, are. Ooh. 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 There's something different about us After cup after cup Yeah, it's just the way we do it Anything just to block out the real life Real life Yeah, we're loving the way they Think we're so messed up, up. Even if what we're doing is bad There's so many emotions Sharing stories that we never had yet None is real I think we're searching for reasons Not to be like them, them. We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are
Since you've been down thinking about him again I know that your heart's been broken You should try and let it go and start being yourself You, you
popping bottle champagnes all night Running up your mouth like it's all fun She looking like a Ah, oh, she looking like a In a skirt tie The 뭔데 자꾸 어쩌고 저쩌고 이불 놀리는 거야 너 혹시나 예쁘다고 질투하는 거야 그래봤자 가격감은 일도 없을 텐데 시크하고 유니크한 거 그게 나 Every day and night 다 나답게 Oh, 다 나답게 